So now we have a radar that uh, detects a ship, and it detects that that ship moves like time later. So we can say that the radar is our origin, and it's gonna be located at zero comma zero. Okay, and uh, the first part where it finds the ship, it's here. Uh, it's 10 kilometers out of him. So that would be 0, comma, minus 10. Okay? Minus 10 is because it's to the south and this is our origin. Okay? And if we had like an axis, let me use another color. So if we had an axis, this would be positive y. This would be positive x. Okay? So downwards would be negative uh, y. Now uh, let's continue. And time later, it moved. Uh, it's located 20 kilometers south of east. So we know that is somewhere around here. Uh, down south of east, somewhere with 45 degrees. Here, and that's like somewhere around here somewhere around here and we know that this distance in the middle it's 20 kilometers okay so that's how we settle the problem now how do we solve it uh, first of all let me change color uh, nice green will do uh, we will make as follows we should write the position of the, f the original position as R1. If we write it in terms of uh, square, squares, uh, rectangular co coordinates, it would be 0i minus 10j kilometers. Okay. The second one, we know that it's magnitude. It's 20 kilometers, and that its angle, it's 45 degrees. This one's over here, but they are not that useful. So I'm going to set this as my origin, and I'm going to use this angle, okay? The whole thing. So that angle is 225 degrees. Okay, once again, I'm counting it starting from the origin, okay? being this zero degrees. So theta is going to be 225 degrees. Okay, so we can decompose it until we can uh, in terms of x and y. So R2 is going to be 20 cosine of uh, 225 i plus 20 sine of 225 in J. Okay, if we solve this little math things with trigonometry, it's gonna be minus 14.14 .14 in I, minus 14.14 .14 in j okay and this is two in kilometers now how do we get the velocity that is going to be very very easy uh, let me change color into a nice red for that we're going to say that the velocity if you remember it's the displacement over the difference of time and that is uh, vector 2 minus vector 1, all of that over time, okay? Well, final time minus initial time. And that is going to be, uh, final vector is going to be this one, so we can write it as minus 14.14i, 14 14 uh, minus minus 14.14 14 J of this minus 
um, the initial one that is 0i minus 10j all of that over what's we'll all that an hour later so it's 1 minus 0 okay so it's going to be very very easy to compute uh, the eyes just remain like the same it will be like 14.14i and uh, j's are going to be no minus sorry minus with uh, for minus four point four ten, okay, J. Let me erase that thing. There you go. That was that was nice. Um, there you go. So this is the result in kilometers per hour. Okay, but we want the total velocity as a magnitude. So how do we get it? As easy as getting the magnitude of this thing. If you remember, it was the square root of the x component, that is 14.14 14 squared plus the square of the y component. Uh-huh. And that is 14.73 kilometers per hour okay we're asking we're asked just for the velocity we're not asked for the direction okay so this will do it